Play that sound for me again with what Oprah Winfrey said the day before the election on the campaign trail for, Cam for Kamala Harris. Could you play that sound for me again, please, to refresh everybody's memory? Play it again. If we don't show up tomorrow, it is entirely possible that we will not have the opportunity to ever cast a ballot again. And let me be very clear. If you do not make sure that the people in your life can get to the polls, that is a mistake. Deciding not to decide, that is most definitely a vote to let other people control your future. See that? You see it? Yes, she was trying to get people to go out to the polls, but we know who she wanted us to go to the polls to support. That was a scare tactic. And what the hell you need two and a half million dollars for for your production company when you're worth billions? There's Libras are pointing fingers here and there. Recently, Stephen A. Smith blames Michelle Obama and Oprah for Kamala Harris' election defeat by Donald Trump. I don't know if you've seen it. I'm going to show you all the videos, but before I do, if you love what I'm doing here, please share the video and thumbs up, check if your notifications is on. I think we severely underestimated the amount of women around us who will never be able to stop seeking the approval and validation of the white men around them. And y'all really exposed yourself with the results of this election. These white women who voted against our interests, these are the women that we went to high school with, that we were best friends with in college, that we played sports with our whole lives. But they chose to listen to their dads. They chose to listen to their boyfriends or their husbands. They chose to put the interests of the white men around them in their lives above the interests of women above the interests of minorities, above the interests of oppressed people. I will never be able to wrap my mind around that. How you can be a highly educated woman, see how women around you are being treated, see how minorities around you are being treated, and still choose to value the opinion of the white men around you the most and vote for their interests. One of the most important women in my life married a rich white man, and she chose to vote for his interests instead of the interests of her three daughters. The silence from all of these women right now who could not bring themselves to vote for Harris, to vote for another woman in this election, is shameful and we will not forget. You guys were a fucking fool. You voted for a liar. So we're going to see, since they were able to get planes and fly them all over America, then I know they can get some planes and fly them out. So if your leader doesn't do the mass deportation like he promised you, you were sold a buck and fill of goods and you I thought I have seen it or what some of these Libras used to accuse Trump supporters of doing. They are doing just that. Taking a look at this lady, you just saw why do you care what white women think? I cannot wrap my head around why these highly educated women care more about what their dad or their white men around them think than their own interest. The same talking point like Joy Real. Insane, right? That's why people have a problem trusting not just politicians, but celebrities who come out in the open to support them. Had you, you're Oprah, you're worth billions. It's a horrible look for you to take a penny for you or your production company if you really supported her. Paid Oprah Winfrey's production company nearly two and a half million dollars for her support during the campaign. Initial reports said the Harris campaign shelled out $1 million. However, two sources told the New York Times that Winfrey's production company was actually paid closer to the $2.5 million. That number pales in comparison to the estimated $1.5 billion that Harris and the Democrats spent in their failed campaign to win the White House. Why would that piss me off? Why? This is Oprah Winfrey we talk about. What the hell is your production company doing getting anything from the Harris campaign? This is the same Oprah Winfrey that has donated to Cory Booker's campaign in the past. Remember Senator Carol Mosley Braun? Oprah Winfrey donated to her campaign when she was running for the U.S. Senate. Remember when Barack Obama won the presidency in 2008? They said at the time reportedly that Oprah Winfrey's impact equated to more than one million votes in his favor over Hillary Rodham Clinton. 
in a Democratic primary. So here you are, donating to Democrats all over the place, which, by the way, Oprah Winfrey has done for decades. You're giving money. You're giving money. Think about this. Remember Stacey Abrams in Georgia? According to reports, Oprah Winfrey gave her over $10 million. I've got the news right in front of me. I was paid nothing, ever. What do you think about all the celebrities with their mass exodus? Over these numbers, $10 million for Beyonce. Yes, Oprah posted this few hours on social media. Usually, I'm reluctant to respond to rumors in general. But these days, I realize that if you don't stop a lie, it just gets bigger. I was not paid a dime. My time and energy was my way of supporting the campaign. For the live streaming event in September, my production company, Hapo, was asked to bring in set design, light camera, microphone crew, producers, and every other item necessary, including the benches and chairs we sat on. To put on a live production, I did not take any personal fee. However, the people who worked on that production needed to be paid and were end of story. Oprah responded to that video and a lot of people are touching her on social media partaking to this to make real change he's got to not attack the left and not attack everybody let them all talk their shit, but unite now yeah. it's time to unite everybody there are a lot of skeptics out there who don't think president trump is going to be about unity um what do you say to joe rogan's point I think what Joe Rogan is saying is absolutely correct. And Donald Trump's going to be focused on those things. Look at the announcements he's already made. One of the key things is he, want, he wants to support a constitutional amendment to bring congressional term limits. That is something that overwhelmingly the American people have supported for a very long time. This is the greatest Democrat nightmare at this point. People who wrong Trump or struggle to persecute him are panicking. They are not even sleeping. Some are thinking to flee the country just because of that. If you are not guilty, you will not think like that. It is because you know you did something and if the person decides to do the same thing to you, it will not be okay. I just pray that Trump should be able to look into his heart and forgive all these people. Yeah, and don't even do anything to them. But for those that actually did they should face justice. The Libras are saying, oh, Trump want to revenge. That is crazy. They raised $1 billion. I cannot believe how disconnected with reality her campaign is and how delusional the Democratic Party is to think that people are going to ignore everything that they are experiencing, the high grocery bills, the high gas prices, all of those things they are experiencing. And because a billionaire like Oprah Winfrey or an actress like Julia Roberts tells you to vote for Kamala Harris, you're going to vote for Kamala Harris. I actually saw so many liberals getting super excited every time Kamala had a new celebrity endorsement. But we all know for a fact that these celebrity endorsements are not free. The only reason these celebrities like Magic Johnson, Oprah Winfrey, Beyonce, the only reason these celebrities took time out of their day to attend a rally and encourage us, the American people, to vote for Kamala Harris is because they have been paid. Oh, is it true that they paid you a million dollars for the endorsement for Kamala? Not true. Not true, okay. I want you to know what would change after doing this. I'm gonna shake it off. Figure out a way to say thank you. No matter how you disagree with someone politically, you should never pray for this. That guy. I mentioned that guy's name. He's such an absolute, absolute prick. I can't stand him. But anyway. <laughs> uh hey there. I'm guessing you're not doing great. Me neither. Let's be honest. It was a terrible night. Is what will the rest of us be doing on day one? Right now well. <laughs> Bishop Vigano. He says that the. A lot of people were confused about why. The sacrifice. But that's okay because you know what? Listen. Bring you back in, Jason. Um, I say that.